Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Unified Network Application, the new one, on Cost OS using Big Bird Cost OS. So a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, you're installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, let's get back to your registered programming. So today, we will be installing Unified Network Application on uh, Cost OS using Big Bear Cost OS. Uh, this is the new one. Uh, there was a deprecated one. Uh, there was Unified Controller over here, but uh, this is the new one. Um, so this makes it to where you can control your Unified network devices, like your switches, your APs, different things like that on your network. Um, what this does, uh, what this uh, image done, the Unified Controller uh, I didn't do is it separates Mongo from uh, the Unified Network application. Um, so I did create a script to make this extremely easy to uh, get going. Um, so that's what we will be installing today. So I'm gonna be installing Unified Network application on Cost OS using Big Bear Cost OS. It's a third party app store that's maintained by Big Bear Tech World and the Big Bear community. Um, it has quite a few apps in it uh, nowadays and it's growing. So, uh, the Unified Network applications here. Um, so I did make a video on how to install Big Bear Cost OS on Cost OS, but, um, I'm going to be going over it in this video as well. Uh, the custom app store is only supported on 0.4.4 or newer of Cost OS. Um, so I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to go to app store URL right here. I'm going to copy this URL. Uh, I tell you this dot zip and then I'm gonna go over to my cost OS and get the app store set up So now I'm going to start on my cost OS I'm gonna go to app store and then I'm gonna go over to add source over here I'm gonna click it and then a text input pops out I'm going to paste in the URL that we copied over in Bieber cost OS and uh, Once you do that, you're gonna say add over here. You're gonna click it and then now you have 146 apps and um, you can refresh the page, go back in there, and now you can see the category over here of Big Bear Cost OS. So you can click that, and you can see all of the apps in Big Bear Cost OS. So uh, that's how to get Big Bear Cost OS installed. So now we're going to start on Big Bear Scripts right here. There will be a link down in the YouTube description uh, to get to this. And I'm going to scroll down to uh, generate Unified Network Application. Um, uh, in it M mongo for cost os and then i'm going to go into it i'm going to go in the run.sh so we're going to start with bin bash and then we're going to ask the user for the desired location uh if the user does not provide a location it's going to default to this which down here if the location right here it's going to default to this location it's going to store it in the uh variable and then it's going to check if the file, a config file already exists. So it's going to check if this location already exists on the user system. Um, then it's going to want, warn them if it does, and it's going to ask them if they want to replace it or no. Uh, so, so yes or no for that. And then uh, we're going to come down here and create the directory. So we're going to get the directory name. So uh, right here. So it's going to make sure that path right there is created or whatever the user enters. And then um, it's going to go ahead and download the file from this URL right here. And this is in Big Bear Video Assets, and you can go look at it. It's the init mongo.js. And then it's going to um, a a download it to that location right here, or whatever the location the user uh, provides. And then if, the, if this does fail to download, it's gonna say error downloading the file. And then it's going to confirm to the user that the config was saved to this location right here. So I'm going to go backwards to here and then I'm going to copy right here and then I'm going to go over to my cost OS and run it. So now we're going to SSH into our cost OS. I'm going to go up here to terminal logs 
And then you're going to SSH near a host machine. So uh, if you're using like a Zima board, it's going to be cost OS, uh, cost OS. So username and password. Um, you can change that too. Um, so it could be something else. So now I'm going to type in mine to get into mine. So now I'm going to connect. And then now I'm going to clear out and I'm going to paste in the command pa path. So bash. So now I'm going to run it. It's going to uh, say that I uh, entered the location uh, to save the config. I'm going to just go with the default location because that works for cost OS. So I'm going to return or enter. Now we have our config uh, created at this path right here. So we're ready to install a unified network application. Now I'm going to start a bigger cost OS. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. And I'm going to go to apps. And then I'm going to scroll down to Unified Network Application. And then I'm going to Docker and Pose. So the Cost OS uh, application name is going to be called Big Bear Unified Network Application. I'm going to set services. And then the first service underneath services is called Unified DB. That is going to be a Mongo. And it's coming off Docker Hub by default. And this is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. And then container name is going to be called Big Bear Unified DB. The volumes are uh, on the left side is the host. On the right side is the container. So app, uh, data, app data, app ID, which is dynamic variable that's gotten from the name up here. And then DB data. This is on the host side. And then on the container side is data, uh, D, a DB. And then on the host side is the, uh, the data, app data, the dynamic variable, DB, and then the init, mongo.js, the one that we generated. And then this is the Docker entry point for init, mongo.js, and it's read only. And then I'm going to set ports. So 27017 is on the host. 27017 is on the container. Um, do not change the containers port. I'm going to set network. So it's going to be inside the unified network application network right here. And this is defined all the way down here. So networks, unified network application network, and that's, uh, that's a bridge. So, um, this makes it to where the, uh, this, the unified network application can connect to the Mongo with the, um, the host down here, the, the Mongo host is big bear and unified uh, DB. That rhymes with the container name up here. So um, I'm going to set a restart policy of unless stop. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not show a restart. But if it fails or any other reason, then we'll try to restart. And then I'm going to set some cost OS specific information to explain things up here. And then I'm going to come down here to the main application service. And this is off Linux server. It's coming off Docker Hub by default. And it's a unified network application. It's 8026. That's the current active version right now. And then the cont container name is going to be called Big Bear Unified Network Application. And then I'm going to set a bunch of uh, environment variables. So the user ID, the group ID uh, for permissions, and the time zone. You can set this to your own time zone. And then uh, here's the Mongo host, user, pass, port, DB name. This should rhyme with up here. Um, so this, uh, so this container right here can connect to this Mongo DB up here. So, uh, the memory limit is set to, uh, to, uh, 1024. And then the memory startup is 1024. And then the TLS and then the Mongo all source, uh, vo volumes. So data, app data, dynamic variable, which has gotten from the name up there. And then config. This is on the host side. And then this is on the uh, container side, it's config. So um, now a bunch of ports are going to be set. So HTTPS portal, which we will be using down here. It's all the way down here. It's the port, port map, so 8443. That's going to be the UI port. Um, it's going to be HTTPS, self-signed certificate. Um, so a stun port, infi AP discovery, HTTP portal, uh, DLNA. And then uh, HPS a guest port, a portal, and then HP a guest portal, the mobile speed test port, and then the remote system log port. 
And then I'm gonna set a restart policy of unless, unless stop. So that means if you stop it for a reason, it will not try to restart, but if it fails or any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then I'm gonna put it in the Unified Network Application Network right, right here. So th this makes to where this container down here can connect to the, uh, the MongoDB up here with the actual uh, container name. So um, this depends, this container, uh, the Unified Network Application container depends on the Unified DB. So up here. Um, so I'm gonna set some cost uh, specific information to explain the environment variables, the volumes and the ports. Um, the a network is defined down here. So cost has specific information to explain it on the app store. So this ported CPU architectures for, for the actual Docker image is, uh, is AMD64 and ARM64. The main service name is rhymes with the app up here. Um, so, and then the description, the tagline, the developer of the actual Docker image, and then the author of the Docker Composer right here. The, the icon being used, the thumbnail, title, category, so we can find all the Big Bear Cost OS apps. Uh, and the port map is 8443, and that rhymes with the host port up here that's set on the Unified Network application. And then the scheme is set to HTTPS, and then tips, uh, I would recommend you looking at the re readme before you install it too. Um, so uh, now we explain the Docker Compose in uh, Big Bear Cost OS for Unified Network Application. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now that we got the uh, config file all set, you're gonna go on the files app and then app, app, app data and then Big Bear Unified Network application, a DB, and then you'll see it right here. So we know it's in there. I'm gonna go backwards and then I'm going to go to the app store right here and then I'm going to search for Unify. And then now we're going to go over here to Unify Network Application. And then you know it's coming from Big Bear Cost OS because of this right here, the category. I'm going to go into it. I'm going to install. And then it is going to say a re a read the re re readme file right here. And this is on uh, community.bigbearetechworld.com. So you can go read that if you'd like. I'm going to next steps. And then now what this is doing is it's downloading the Docker images off the registry, getting them extracted and getting them up with Docker Compose underneath. So you can continue in the background and let this do its thing. And now it's downloaded Mongo. So now, now it's up and running. So we got it done. So now I'm going to show you where the container options are. Um, so the Unified Network application, you can go up to the top right here, and then you can open tips. Uh, you can see all the tips. You can edit the tips right here, and then you can just say testing down here. You can save, and then um, it'll reload the container in the background and say Unified Network application is okay now. So um, you can go into tips again. You can see it did save. You can go into settings right here, and you can check. Uh, change the settings if you need to and then press save you can also go into the unified db right here and change the settings over here and press save you can go up to terminal logs up here and you can go inside the container you can see the logs right here so great for debugging you can export the docker compose from here and then you can exit out of there so you can check for updates of the current tags it's on and uninstall restart and fire off and on so now I'm gonna to go to the UI. So you can open it from here, or you can go up these vertical dots right here and open it from here. Um, so it does have a sales sign certificate, so you will have to go to advanced, proceed. Now you can name your server, uh, your network. Uh, so you can name it anything you'd like. Just I name it Big Bird Network. And then I, 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 you, you do have to accept the end user license agreement and the terms of service. So I'm gonna agree. Now I'm going to say next. 
Um, you will need to go to advanced. Uh, well, if you have a uh, a UI account, you can sign up from here. So you can go on advanced setup and you can um, cre create an account like that to where you create a UI account. You can also go back into there and you can skip that and create a local access credentials. So I'm going to create one right now. And then now I'm going to come down and put an email address in. So now we got all that set up. So I'm going to say finish down here. And now it's setting up the server. So we have local access now. So you can uh, see your topology, your unified devices, uh, light switches, different things like that. And uh, the client devices that are on the network. You can see the system logs, the updates, admin activity, client, AP. Um, so you can also go into the cog down here and you can go to settings and then um, a lot of things are locked off. Um, but you can go to system. You can set device name, country, language, time zone, time formats, uh, theme, site management. You can come over here to updates, backups administration, and advanced. So that's how to get Unified Network Application running on COS OS. So I just went over start from finish on getting uh, Unified Network Application running on COS OS using BigBear COS OS. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go down to the BigBear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.